Here, here again, basic income seems a sensible idea. Just want to remind right. you that employment has never been higher in this country. Unemployment's never been. I, I just need to remind you all that we've run out of time. But uh, Rucker Bregman, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now it's late. Jezza and Chuka bromance late. Yes, once labor brothers in arms, well, kind of, Jezza the Red can now no longer bear even to be in the same room as Chuka the Smooth. Invited to a meeting of a party leaders to discuss ways forward out of the breakfast, Brexit or breakfast, it could be either at this time of night, and pass, dear Jezza quickly scarpered when he saw young Chucker already at the table. It's good to see our politicians bearing their differences in the national interest. The Maybot has proved to be a veritable Kofi Annan when it comes to bringing people together. Someone far too polite to walk out on anybody is presenter and comedian Grania Maguire, who's putting humiliation in the spotlight. And if, despite the million trillion hours spent talking about Brexit, you think you still have something original to say, then be my guest. Feel free to bleat on the tweet, yap on the snap yappity, cock your leg on the clegg book. My favourite unicorn is on standby to devour your every word. He's called Brian, by the way. It's not like that <clears throat> House of Commons Speaker John Berko to insert himself into the story. He's more the shy, retiring type, laconic, undemonstrative, bereft of ego, sparse in his use of language. So he must have been amazed and appalled to find himself on most of yesterday's front pages and leading all the newscasts, just because he decided that he would determine if the Maybot's Brexit deal could be brought back to the Commons for a third time. I'm sure he never thought that would create such a kerfuffle. He's probably already checked himself into a monastery and taken a vow of silence for the rest of the month. Well, you can only hope. There was a time, of course, when it was a dangerous business being Speaker of the Commons. Seven of his predecessors were beheaded in the two centuries after the post was created in 1377. That's 1377, Angela Merkel, since you're now taking notes having admitted that your knowledge of British constitutional history is a bit rusty. 1377. I'm sure no such thoughts have entered the Maybot circuits, but it might be a wise precaution for Big John to buckle up his holster and keep his handgun, well, sort of handy, next time he ventures out for a morning coffee. Here's Kate McCann with her shootout of the week.